In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to activate FaceTime in any country within the Middle East without requiring a jailbreak. Now, it's important to note that in several Middle Eastern countries, like the UAE and Saudi Arabia, FaceTime is often restricted or even removed from iPhones sold locally. However, if you have a device imported from another region, these steps should work quite effectively. So, let's dive right in. Firstly, what we need to do is change the region settings on your iPhone. Begin by heading to your settings app, then select general, and from there navigate to language and region. You'll want to tap on the region option here. A list of countries will appear. Scroll and select either the United States or the United Kingdom. By doing this, we're essentially telling your iPhone that it should behave as though it's operating in one of these regions where FaceTime is fully supported and unrestricted. Once you've changed the region, the next step is crucial. You need to restart your device. This step is vital because it allows your iPhone to apply the changes that were just made. Just hold the power button until you see the option to slide and turn off your phone. Then power it back on after a few moments. Now, an important note here, if your iPhone was originally manufactured without FaceTime support, unfortunately these steps may not work. This method is particularly designed for devices that had FaceTime available in their original regional settings. With your device restarted, the next major thing to check is your iOS version. Go back into the settings menu, then general again, and tap on software update. Here you'll want to ensure you have the latest version of iOS 14 installed. Updating your software is crucial to making sure all of the available features, including FaceTime, are fully supported and operative. Next, it's time to sign in with your Apple ID. Navigate back to settings, but this time look for the app section and select FaceTime. If you're not already signed in, go ahead and enter your Apple ID credentials. Once logged in, you'll see the option to toggle FaceTime on, switch it to the on position, and that's it. So, to wrap things up, by changing your region settings, ensuring your phone is up to date with the latest iOS, and signing in with your Apple ID, you should now have FaceTime activated on your device. Remember, this process is most effective with devices imported from regions where FaceTime is not restricted. Hopefully this helps you stay connected with your loved ones through FaceTime, regardless of where you are. Enjoy your calls and the convenience they bring. Thank you for following along and be sure to share if you found this guide helpful.